Oh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, you can yeah. see him. We are, we are true. Uh, our life yeah. there is uh, uh, the young man, then the young man who, yes, who, who, who was there 35 years ago when we won the under, under 16, then to the Kodak under 16 World Championship. Uh, uh, that was in 1985, right there in China. In China. Uh, he scored that goal, the first goal in the final when we were playing against the Germans. And then uh, we have Jonathan Akbobori online. Hello, Joe. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine. Okay, I, 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 can we get the audio? Can we get the audio right? Because I can see, I can see his smart moving. He's saying it's fine. Uh, can we get the audio right? Let's see if we get it right so that we can move on with that particular interview. Joe is on the line. Uh, Jonathan left, you know, he played for Julius Beja in Nigeria. Uh, uh, was in the super, before he went after the uh, under, under, seven, under 16 then, he was in the under 20 in Chile. He was part of that team. You know, he won bronze and silver for Nigeria at the AFCON. Uh, a top goal scorer in Germany. He played for a lot of clubs and then uh, at the Cup winners coming, uh, he was the highest goal scorer, then joint top scorer for the uh, UEFA Cup, then playing for Stuttgart that they played in the finals. Uh, uh, so we shall, we shall get this interview. All right. Uh, uh, Joe, are we set? Are you hearing me now? I can hear you very well. Oh, beautiful. I think I can also hear you very well. Okay. Uh, uh, Joe, just, 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 just let us start from the very beginning. Uh, uh, we, we, are, are you in Germany? Or, I think we're in Switzerland. Are you in Germany or Switzerland? Um, I am I am in Germany today. I was in Switzerland when I was talking to you yesterday, but I was okay. on my way here because of because of the Bundesliga games. I just wanted to watch maybe one or two things in the Bundesliga yesterday. All right, uh, that, that 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 is beautiful. Okay, let, let, let's let, let's start. I I I want to I don't I want to capture your mind back just just 20, 35 years ago. Uh, uh, you scored that goal, the first goal in the final against the Germans. I know that team. Probably that is why you went to play in Germany. But I, I'm, I'm not a Swiss player. But I just want to ask you, how did you <laughs> feel that night? The young boys from Nigeria are doing that at the final and then playing ten against eleven. If I can remember very well. Yes, um, it was it was fantastic. Um, I still remember it like yesterday because um, we we didn't mm -hmm. we didn't go to the tournament as as favorites, but you know from we planned from game to game, not really um, putting a goal in front of us, saying we want to qualify from for, from the group stages onto the semi final or the final. We never planned like that. Me as a kid from Ajumule, it was a plan for me to say, okay, this is the first time I will be leaving Nigeria. This is the first time I will be on a plane flying outside Nigeria. That was my first goal. After getting that first goal, the next was, okay, I wanted to play against against a European or maybe somebody that was outside Africa, you know. Then after that goal was finished, it was like in the semi-final, we would not want to lose to another African country, which was Guinea. <laughs> then in the final, we said, yeah. we will just give our best. We will give our best. And we do not want to lose in front of everybody. Yeah. So that was what that was actually what propelled us in the in the final. Okay, uh, 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 Sebastian Broderick was the coach then, and then uh, uh, Christian Chuku, chairman himself, was part. Uh, the Chuku's presence as a former captain of the national team that you growing up in did it inspire you in any way that this man was a part of the team? Oh yes, yes, because you know even in training, even in you know in training when. You know, the, first, the, the very first time I trained with the team in Lagos, you know, Chuku was actually the one telling me, okay, this is exactly what you are doing correctly. Because him as a defender, he had played against so many strikers. So the things that I was doing in training then, he would be the one to say, oh, Johnny, that is really, really nice. And, you know, for somebody who at that time, who had played in numerous games for Nigeria, you know, and he's the one trying to direct and tell you what to do on the field. It was fantastic for me. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, after then, you guys went to Chile. A lot of a lot of hopes was on Chile, but you guys did not live up to expectation. We thought we were going to massacre Brazil. Is it because you played Brazil in the first match? What really happened in Chile? That team was so good, Jonathan. What happened? There, there were there were so many there were so many issues. Um, first, you know, I keep telling people that look. Today, Eti is, is is one of my very good friends. I can't, I have no doubt about it. But you know, we have to call the spade a spade. That is, that is one of the things that you know we have to learn in Nigeria, to see a spade and call it a spade in football. Eti like I said, is a very good friend of mine. But um, the problem 
of bringing a team back into the team after we after we've actually worked around to solve the problem that he was solving for us without him but when he came back into the team there was there was a lot of chaos and you know he actually destroyed the the um, the the confidence of the team in Chile at that time the problem they wouldn't have they shouldn't have allowed the team to come back to Lagos from Nairobi where we were uh, in training camp when we came back Udemezwe was the late Udemezwe was almost crying telling the team that look they've spoiled his work and it actually it actually happened the way he said it can you can you, can you give us a few of your teammates in that particular just just enliven us some of so if you can remember your teammates in that uh, Chile Chile 87 team we had we had um, likes of uh, Pitania Ketin, Ladi Babalola, Adeolu Adekola. Um, we had the Ponsa Omorige, uh, Nosao Sadolo, uh, the late John Ene Okun. Um, uh, who do we have again? Oh, was, we was have, was we was have, was have so many. How many of you transited yeah, from 85? Was there, yes. How many of you transited? Do you can you remember how many transited from 85 to 87? It was just um, it was just um, Lucky Abons, uh, Victor Ibinoba, Unduka Ugbadi, and and me. All right. Okay. So now now we are, we, are, we are moving now. Gradually, you know, you 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 you, you went to the U.S. and played college football. Uh, uh, how did how did yes. that go? How did it go? Oh, it was fantastic. I had I had the ball at Brooklyn College. It was it was fantastic. <laughs> In fact, sometimes some of the games when I remember. When I'm when I'm reminded of some of the games that we played, uh, there was this one we played um, against um, against the New York NYC, and you know they were champions of New York at that time, and we had uh, seven Nigerian ex you know internationals then that played for the under twenty at one level or the other, like Michael Dominic for example, um, um, Akiloton. Um, and all of these players, we were in the same team playing against NYU. We, in the first 15 minutes, we were already four goals up. <laughs> and, and I remember our coach, who, who, later, become, who later became um, uh, the national team coach of, uh, of, 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 of the U.S. then, actually was telling us not to score a goal again because we were just moving the ball around. You know, in America, football was not really was not really their thing at that time. Yeah, and we were way way ahead of them. So it was very funny, but we had we had fun. Uh, we actually kept us very fit, and you know, like I said, it was it was really really interesting. Okay, okay. But, but, but before we go back to football, I, I just want to talk a little bit because I'm I know uh, that that very first day um, you know, we're in your room, and then you just came back from the US, and then you were feeling. I don't know why you did. We would have loved to play music because you were you were having those musical gadgets and you were just <laughs> playing with them and stuff like that. Uh, you were about 18, 19 then or so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, but 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 you see, usually um, I I I had no I had no. I had no gift in music at all, and okay. you know, I am, I am still that kind of a shy person who can, who can only play football in front of a lot of people. All right. I can't do any because I'm shy. I can't do any other thing about apart from apart from football. And I'm talking to you live now. It will be very difficult for me to actually stand in front of a lot of people and start talking to them. You know, I can't do that. But to play football, I can play football in front of. A million people. A million people. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. And I, 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 we are getting there. And, I, and then, then, you know, okay, uh, you, you finally got back to Germany. Uh, I they remember the young, the young, the young kid who scored that fantastic goal at the finals against the Wizard Techs of this world. Uh, um, how did you find it starting? It didn't start from the top. It started from uh, Sabakra, whatever. But, you know, it started from the lower division. Sabrukin. Sabrukin. Yeah. Sabrukin. Yeah. yeah. You know, Sabrukin was uh, was a second division club then, and. Um, Yeboa, Anthony Yeboa was was the biggest was the biggest African star then in in the Bundesliga at that time, and when he was leaving <clears throat> Saarbrücken to to Eintracht Frankfurt, um, they now offered me a trial. I went to the trial, and I was then accepted in place of uh, Yeboa. So as he left, I now replaced him at Saarbrücken. It was. It was very difficult from from the beginning because uh, playing football, a lot of people say, um, 
it's it's a universal game but you know you have to learn you have to learn the local traditions of of every team in any country that you're going to because that would be the background that actually propels you to start performing uh, very well for them because if you cannot speak the language for example you are in big trouble i i didn't do that when i was at sabrukin it was um, i would speak english with some people and you know i thought it was okay but when i now left sabrukin to my next team everybody in that next team which was kazai see you now uh, they couldn't speak english because they were in the eastern <laughs> part of germany so it was for me to either learn how to speak uh, um, the russian yeah. language yes. or german yeah so i had to speak german you know that was actually what now encouraged me to speak german so i started speaking german and the goals that i started to score then was significant because you know immediately the language was coming the goals started flowing from there because your teammates probably can understand you, you cannot communicate you cannot communicate with them on the pitch <laughs> okay. exactly uh, uh, 97 98 was uh, I, I don't know how, how to put it for you uh, good for you playing for uh, uh, Stuttgart and then you played about five, or, five of the six of the national team games and you didn't go to the World Cup. Uh, place side by side. Let's start from which do you want to take first? Your, the national team side or the Stuttgart side? <laughs> oh, well, we can talk about the national team, you know. Okay. We can talk about the national team. All right. Okay. Um, you see, you, usually, usually the national team was, was a significant part for me also, even though yeah. Uh, I could not really get, I could not really get enough games to to play for Nigeria as I would want to play for Nigeria. Go on. Um, you know, everybody. The question, the question, the question always everybody would ask me would be, you know, why did you not go to the '98 World Cup? It's <laughs> it's a is a is a pretty big 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 question because um, I have to. At this time, I have to protect some people who were very close to me, uh, and they are still into football in Nigeria. But I would want to tell everybody in Nigeria that look, it was not due to performance. A lot of people that that a lot of people that went to the to that World Cup, um, I, I I can dare I can actually dare say that you know most of the World Cup that most of the World Cups that Nigeria has actually they've attended, we have not gone with our best team. And it is the same till today, this today now. We did not go with our best team at the World Cup in '98 because there was there were some people that were injured, some people were too old. Uh, Nigeria still carries that that um, that uh, that thing that they say, okay, um, he played well uh, two years ago, he can go today. As a football, as a footballer, and as a professional footballer, you are as good. As your last game, if you don't perform yesterday, you cannot make the team today. That is how it's done in Europe. The Europeans and the Brazilians, at one time, the Brazilians were dominating world football. But immediately, the Europeans figured out the organization on the field of play. Brazil had to learn because if they if they did not learn, they wouldn't have they wouldn't they would not be where they are today, because the Europeans actually mastered. This thing we call tactics, and it actually proves everything, everything, skill, everything. Hello, if you hello, want hello, to Johnny. Practice, hello, Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Yes. Johnny. 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 We, have to, we want to go on a break. I want to keep you there. I want to keep you. Uh, when we come back on break, I just take one or two questions to round this up. Uh, let's 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 go on a short break. We'll back with you. We're going on a very short break. When we come back, we'll go back to Germany and resume the discussion with Jonathan Akbobori. Okay. You welcome back. It is a channel spot on Sunday, and then we are immediate, we are no wasting time. Let's go straight back to uh, uh, to Germany, where we have uh, Jonathan Akbobere to con continue with this interview. Uh, Joe, jo, you were telling us about uh, the national team, the best players not going. Uh, you're missing out at uh, um, uh, at France '98. I, 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 there was a controversy when you guys went to uh, uh, Kenya to play. I think that match ended 1-1. And people were saying, was it you that scored the goal or was it Ucho Kechiko who scored that, that, that equalizer? In that, in that, uh, uh, who? <laughs> okay, Joe, I know who scored the goal. Can you tell us? Use your mouth to let us know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the goal, the goal, actually, you know, that's, that's, that's one, of, one of the things that a striker has to, you know, you have to read 
the game to see what is happening and you know uh, then you now take advantage of it um uche and uh, and Taibo, you know they are really really big and you know when they run for for the ball for a corner kick everybody you know the crowd goes with them i was in the crowd with them and when they were going to jump i just took two steps behind and I, because i i knew i knew that the ball would drop behind them you know and when they went for the ball you know they were just pushing each other everybody hitting themselves and i was the smallest among them but i was the one that actually headed the ball you know after everybody missed the ball so it would have been i think from the camera angle it would have been very difficult for anybody to see but unfortunately after i scored that goal i was substituted you know um i think um immediately after the, the second half started yeah. the team the whole team was actually complaining to the coach that why would you why would you take out a goal scorer somebody okay. who has scored a goal for them in the game you know we were really surprised that i was substituted in the game but you know then again it was very important for us the draw and it put us right back into contention to qualify for that for that year's world cup Okay, uh, can, can you remember vividly how, how many matches did Amor Tribal took you guys uh, uh, in, during that qualifiers? Um, I can't. I don't think I can remember. But you know, um, I think that game against Kenya should be. Uh, I think it was the last game that he handled us uh, before before they brought in Philip Trouze. Touche. All right. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 so let's 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 let's. Uh, 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 Calm me down. Uh, you, 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 were, you were a bit disappointed, I know, but, but, uh, for not, uh, by not going to uh, France 98, where you were totally disappointed. Um, a, li a little bit of both, because, you know, um, going to the World Cup is, is, is actually a dream for, for, for every player, but you can't really force it. Um, as, a, as a player, we were, I, I was... I was actually coming out of a, a very, very difficult season. We we were on the road the whole time. We played. We were fourth in the league in the Bundesliga. Uh, we were. We played up till the semi-final in the German Cup, losing to uh, Bayern Munich, um, and then you know played up till the final of of the UEFA Cup Winners Cup in that year. So it was it was a very very busy season for us. So. You know, going to the World Cup was actually a bonus where I really wanted to show Nigerians that, look, this guy is here. It's finally a tournament at, at the senior level. Let me actually show Nigerians what I, what I do in Europe. Because at that time, um, the Buddhist leader was not, was not really uh, being shown live in Nigeria. Uh, even the premiership was, was, uh, uh, was, not, was not regular. No football in Europe was regular at that time, so I wanted to show Nigerians at that tournament. But you know, unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't make the team. So before, before the team was actually going on, uh, on, 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 um, on preparation, I was already on holiday. You know, uh, if, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I want to sum it up, it would be a little bit arrogant of myself to say, okay, Nigeria actually lost out. The team actually lost out in what I could give the team, because I could have given them a lot at that World Cup. World Cup, all right. I, I, I don't doubt it's arrogance. You are saying, okay, okay, you had a lot, you had something to give, and probably you're not given the opportunity to give that particular, to give it out. Okay, uh, 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 let, you, you, we have a lot, a lot of young strikers coming up. Uh, um, one of them, shining ball, is uh, uh, Victor Osime. Uh, uh, have, you, have, you, do you, have you watched him? Have, do you see him as somebody who can move up there? And then, you, any advice for him? Have you watched his play? Oh yes, I saw I saw him I saw him first. I went to see him live at at Wolfsburg. You know he was at my former team at Wolfsburg, so I went to I went to see him live and I spoke to him. Also, I think he's he's a level headed kid. Uh, he has done really really well after he left Wolfsburg. That tells you uh, uh, why you know the German the German teams don't really get what they what. They, they work for because they've actually worked very well for Osime, but they released him a little bit too early. He went to Belgium, proved himself very, very worthy. And, you know, at, at, uh, in France now, he has done exceptionally very well. And I think he has a promising future for the Super Eagles for Nigeria. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, uh, 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 you, you played for Julius Berger even if, as I don't know, you didn't play, you are most of a, an academy coming up. Was it, well, did you play under Joe? Was it Joe Rico who was your, uh, your coach at, at Julius Berger? Was, it was always Joe Rico, yes. It was always Joe Rico. And then he taught yes. a lot of those Jogo, Jogo Bonito things you, you learned from him. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. With, with, Joe, with, with Joe Rico, you had a coach who actually knew exactly what was happening in Europe at that time. So by the time I came to Europe, there was nothing new. It was the same. There was nothing new. You graduated from the school yeah. of Eriku, so you can you can exactly. go over there and do it. Okay, your, 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 finally, your, your thoughts, your thoughts on uh, uh, our league here. The MPFL is suspended. Uh, you, 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 you follow it because most of why you Lego, you follow what's happening. I mean, have, what your thoughts on it? Um, I I want to I I I think I've I've discussed this with a couple of people, and you know, um, the serious part of it is that. This virus that has affected the whole world actually does ex exist. It is real. And my views are like this. If, if we can stop our league for something less important, I'm talking about the season that, uh, that uh, the team in Boku was, was, was awarded the championship without yeah. completing the league. league yeah. If we can actually stop the league for something less important as our our health now when we are seeing the COVID-19 it is real if we can stop the league then for that I don't think we should actually go into risking everybody's lives because our health system is a suspect we are not this is real life we should not joke about it if we can stop the league then I think we can stop it now and actually realign the league with the Euro European League when they start again and plan for it very, very well. Okay. That's my view. That's your view. And then uh, just for 60 seconds, your, your, your soulmate from the from same jungle city, Iralo, is at, uh, uh, at Manchester United. Uh, uh, do, do you speak? Do you talk with Iralo? Uh, no, unfortunately not. I would really love to because he's doing wonderful things. I think we are going to do that soon. All right, on this note, one of the tiny women part of this show. When you come back, we know we 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 we, 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 we keep on getting back to you on and on and, and bring you to the studio and you be part of the team. Thank you very much, Johnny. No, thank you, thank you for having me. All right.